Hello, and today I'm going to be uh, doing a C++ tutorial, just the basics. Um, it's going to be more advanced than just Hello World. It's going to cover output text, input variables, declaring a variable, and uh, pausing a program. So, um, with that said, I'm going to be using Visual C++. Uh, you can use whatever you want. I find Visual C++ extremely easy, especially for beginners, so I encourage it. Now, um, first, we're going to make the standard C++ actual form text code that you build upon. And that's always started with include, not always, but most likely include, uh, less than sign, IO, stream, which stand, and then greater than sign. Do not need a semicolon, however, you will be using a semicolon after everything else in this program and most other programs. Um, IO stream stands for input output stream and gives you the library and syntax for C++ for um, well inputting and outputting information and since that's what we're basically going to be doing this entire program we're going to need it and for any program where you input and output you use this unless you're using special syntax that includes its own input and output syntax like uh, dark GDK which is a game creation library for C++ and I'm not going to be getting into that now, but that's just an example. Uh, underneath include, to make your, this program easier than most others, you're going to write using namespace std, which stands for standard, and that'll uh, prevent you from having to write std colon colon in front of every single command that just standard, like input and output standard, for IO stream, so it just makes coding a lot faster. So now we're going to need our main part of the program, which you need to write int, then main, open end parentheses, and uh, now you need to add your curly brackets. I'm not sure what they're called. And now you have your actual main program. You can see it because there's a little minus thing right here on Visual Basic. And right in between the curly brackets, you can write return space zero and uh, uh, semicolon semicolon is going to be after everything like I said like after using namespace and that things you don't put it on are after include statements and uh, when you're initiating partnering I, sorry I kind of um, uh, walked away for a little bit so I forgot where I was but um, I highlighted int main so I'm guessing you were saying something like uh, there are different parts of your program including different files like header files and uh, this separates them into different individual parts, you can minimize them or not, and this is a basic form of a part. Uh, I probably already explained what return zero is, and s tells the computer program's done and successfully completed, so it starts. So now we're going to actually start building upon this and starting our code. So, like I said, I was going to work with variables. First type of variable I'm going to do is character variables, and we're just going to, you declare character vi variable by doing char care and then space whatever you want to be in this case name and semicolon but right after name you're going to want to put a bracket whatever however many characters you want I'm just going to do 20 you can do whatever this is just going to be your first name and um basically um it'll s characters have no numeral value it's only letters and numbers and just basically a slot filler it remembers what you type and then uses it that's about it 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 doesn't have a numeral value and can be used with math but it can be used to display information that the user generated so now you have your character variable now we need to get the user to import it but if you just have a dashing thing on the screen it won't really work and the user won't get it so you need to tell them stuff so you put c out space less than less than space and in quotations something like hello comma that's a period comma what's your name now before you um question mark before you uh put the end quotation and put forward slash n then the quotation then I want to put a semicolon and the reason you put the forward slash n is it goes to the next line so everything doesn't get all jumbled up on a single line so it makes your program look much neater 
So now that we have that, um, let's go on to actually inputting the information. We prompt them now. Let's actually input it. C in greater than greater than. It goes the opposite way as C out. C out, C in. And we're going to say, what do we want to say? Um, right, space name, and that's it. That's all I need to put. C in greater than greater than name. Because that's just, uh, or whatever. This can change. This can be whatever you want. It doesn't have to be name. So whatever you put there. And now we have the inf we ask the user for information. We have the information. Let's use it. C out. <coughs> Sorry. Less than less than. In quotation marks. Um. Sorry, just a second. <coughs> uh, in quotation marks, something like. Hello space and quotations space less than less than name because you have to separate the variable so you have to put in more double less than signs to make sure that happens and then we'll put uh, hello name uh, thank you for running me and uh, yeah we'll put the forward slash n in here to make your program look cleaner so now we declared a variable, asked for information, got the information, used the information, so now it's a completed program. Well, it kind of is. I'm going to run it to show you. Here's what's going to happen. Um, uh, forgot a semicolon. There we go. I'm right, going to run it. Uh, you may need to compile it with a separate compiler if yours doesn't have one. That's why I like Visual C++. Okay. So we have, hello what's your name? My name's Chris, so I'm going to put in Chris, hit enter, and then it just disappears. Well, that's not very useful, because what are you going to do? You, you can't see it. It's not, it's too fast, because return zero is saying end the program. So you need to stop it, or pause it, really. So the way you do that in uh, C++, sorry, the microphone moved. Oh, that's better. Is you write system <coughs> Parentheses, open quote, pause, and and uh, quotation and parentheses, semicolon, and that's it. So you're pausing the program until the person hits a key, and you're good. So now I'm going to run this program. Here it is. Hello, what's your name? Once again, my name is Chris. Hello, Chris. Thank you for running me. Press any key to continue. And notice how I did spaces right here, so it doesn't look all jammed together. After hello, I put a space in the quotation, and before thank you, I put a space. That makes sure uh, it doesn't get all jumbled together and it looks nice. It's not necessary, it just makes the program look nice, which is a very important part of a program to make it look neat and nice when people use it. This has no real use just to learn about things, just basic uh, output and input, and uh, how to make sure a user can actually see it what return zero does and how to declare variables uh... if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section uh... thank you for watching and please comment on this video